What's going on YouTube? Gios now right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.8 using Checkrain Jailbreak. Now I know a lot of you know about this procedure and of course it's the same as before on any other version with Checkrain but people are coming from search by searching 14.8 jailbreak so this video will pop up for them. So it's basically for beginners. Now for those of you who are new to 14.8 it patches a major issue and that is the NSO Pegasus exploit. That is a zero click exploit in iMessage so it's particularly bad if you get infected with that because you wouldn't even know you've been infected with that and as I said you don't have to click on anything to tap on anything to open anything it's zero click so if your device is an iPhone 7 7 plus 8 8 plus 10 success and so on you can update the 14.8 in order to get the patch for that bug and you will still be able to jailbreak although a little bit buggy with Checkrain. So although Checkrain hasn't been updated officially to support 14.8, it's still stuck at 14.5 officially, it still works on 14.8. So right now iOS 14.8 and 14.7.1 are signed, but if you are running 14.7.1, update the 14.8 on your Checkrain compatible device in order to benefit from these two patches here, which do patch an important and critical bug in iOS. So in order to jailbreak with Checkrain, if you're new here, you navigate to checkrain.in, this is the website, and you download the one for macOS in here. If you're on Linux, you press here on all downloads and get your appropriate one. If you're on a computer, x86-64 is probably what you need. If you're on Raspberry Pi, you probably need ARM64 here. So I have macOS and I already have the macOS one installed right here. Now for Windows, there is no option right now other than to dual boot Linux on your computer using a USB flash drive and of course use the Linux one. So as you can see, I have connected my iPod Touch 7 generation. It says, sorry, iPod Touch 7 is supported, but iOS 14.8 is not. Supported versions 12.0 to 14.5.1. Well, there's a quick fix for that. You just have to go here to options and press allow untested iOS. For the A11 devices like the iPhone 10 and 8, you will have to press this one here as well. In my case, it's not necessary. Do know that the bug where you wouldn't be able to set a passcode or face ID or touch ID is still present unfortunately on the A11 devices. So on the iPhone 8, 8 plus and 10 you will not be able to have touch ID, face ID or passcode enabled if you want to be able to jailbreak. Your device wouldn't boot in the jailbroken mode. It's an issue that requires probably a new exploit and hasn't been fixed yet. So as you can see now it says iOS 14.8 is untested, continue at your own risk. It is a little bit buggy on 14.8 from my tests but it still works fine. I'm going to press OK here and now you have to press next and your device will enter recovery mode which shows the power cable and the laptop logo and of course after that we're going to have to put it in DFU mode by using the instructions on the screen. Now don't follow the instructions on my screen, these will be for my device. Follow the instructions on your screen because your device may vary. You will have to press the power button but depending on your device you might have to press volume down or the home button at the same time. In my case is the volume down. So I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna press start in here, press the combination displayed on my screen and then of course I'm gonna have to release the power button which brings me into DFU mode. You know you're in DFU mode when it says DFU mode in here. Device enter DFU mode. And now the device will restart in checkrain mode. If this is the first time you ever jailbreak with checkrain, you should know that you shouldn't unplug the device until it says all done. Your device may show a lot of text on the screen and the Apple logo with some chess pieces on top of it, but that's perfectly normal. So wait for your device to completely boot and you will be fine. So I'm gonna be right back. So as you can see, it says all done. Now we press done in here and now now I'm going to be back on the phone and show you how to install Cydia. Alright, so I'm here on the device. After you install Checkrain by doing the procedure I showed before, you will have Checkrain here on your home screen. You press on it and you will have the option to install Cydia. It's as simple as that. You only have to do this once the very first time you jailbreak. Other than that, every time you read jailbreak during the procedure that I showed you before, so basically after every restart, since this jailbreak is semi-tethered, Cydia will already be here right next to the Checkrain. But now it's the first time so we have to install it. I'm gonna press here, install Cydia. It should only take a couple of seconds seconds to download and it will install. After it installs, this application will close by itself, so don't worry about that. So there you go, now we have Cydia as well, we press on it and we should have a couple of updates for the packages, but as you can see we do have Cydia running on 14.8. And with this we have an iOS version that has the Pegasus exploit patched, but also we have a jailbreak. So I'm gonna press complete upgrade here, press confirm, and you can see that everything works fine, we can download, we can install packages and so on. So yeah, basically that's it. Thank you for watching. I 
I'm Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.